So when we understand this difference between the individual spiritual self and the material body, then it's easy to understand the principle of reincarnation. The principle of reincarnation is simple. The individual conscious spiritual self lives in different bodies, one after another. And it moves from one body to another at the time of death, just like a driver moves from one vehicle to another vehicle. So this principle of reincarnation, it is accepted and has been accepted in practically every culture throughout history, except in modern materialistic society. Still, in European countries, an average of 25% of the population accept reincarnation. Up to 33%, for example, in UK, and about 20% in the US. There's a great deal of very strong evidence for reincarnation. Some people can spontaneously remember previous lifetimes. They can correctly identify family members from the previous life, and they can relate confidential events and details. Other people remember under hypnosis details of what appear to be previous lives, and these details can be checked against historical documents. For example, an Australian lady who had never been outside Australia remembered being an English lady called Mary Duncan, who lived about 200 years ago. The names of the family members she mentioned were found in the local parish register, and the local places that she mentioned were only shown on old maps. When she visited the place where she said she'd lived, she correctly described details of the cottage and she predicted patterns on the floor which had been covered for years. Bhagavad Gita explains how reincarnation works as follows. In this lifetime, we're constantly changing bodies from babyhood to childhood to youth and then to old age. Similarly, at the time of death, the spiritual self accepts another body. The spiritual self is present in all forms of life, but it's more covered, the consciousness is more covered in the lower species and less covered in the human species. So we've come to this human form of life, we've been granted this human form of life after evolution of consciousness, through body after body after body, species after species after species, for millions of lifetimes. Now our question is, what kind of body are we going to get next lifetime? And the answer is simple. The next birth is determined by our mentality at the time of death. And our mentality at the time of death is determined by our activities in this lifetime. So if we perform materialistic activities in this lifetime, then our mentality at the time of death will be degraded and we get a degraded form of life, maybe in the animal species. On the other hand, Bhagavad Gita reassures us that Whatever spiritual consciousness we develop in this lifetime will never be lost. We'll continue next lifetime at the point where we left off this lifetime. And that will go on birth after birth, life after life, until we're so much in divine love that we have no more connection with this material world and we can go to the spiritual world. And that's where we really belong. So that's actual positive liberation. So it's essential not to lose this precious opportunity. Best thing, practice spirituality in this lifetime. Next lifetime will continue from where we left off. Of course, question arises, how can we make solid spiritual advancement in this lifetime? Like to know more? Watch the next video.